Uh, Dave's not here. It's the 21st of uh, January 2014. And uh, I got to show you this. Alright. This is a picture of the Antarctica rock structure, right? This is a picture of Antarctica. Do, do they look pretty close to the same size to you? They do, right? I, I, the reason why I have this up here is I can't... I'm building the supercontinent here in this location, and I can't do that at the poles because this program doesn't allow you to overlay images at the poles. But do you agree that that Antarctica picture, this is the, what comes with Google Earth, and this is overlaid over in the Pacific. They're about the same size. You agree with that? The outline is about the same size as that right there, right? Right. I, I'm pretty sure you agree with that. So, if that's true, and this, then that means the moon's this big. Let me just put it that way. That means just this part of the moon, right here, the lunar south pole, is that big. Just this part. You know how big Antarctica is if you measure it. The, the, I mean, it's it's you know a few thousand miles at least. Yeah, there you go. It's over three thousand miles across. So, when you have the lunar south pole reversed image, this is the reversed image of the lunar south pole over the Earth, fitting to scale the lunar south. I mean that. That Antarctica. Now, I didn't align this picture to this picture of the moon. This picture right here, I did not align this picture to this picture. I aligned this picture right here to this picture. Oh, that right down here. To this one. Right here. I aligned it to this picture right here. As I showed in the last video. Because I've seen those patterns match, right? I just aligned. That's all I did is I took that picture right there of the Antarctica rock structure and I overlaid it over this picture. It's underneath it right now, but it's right go you know, it's right there. I overlaid this picture right here over the top of this picture here. Then I brought up the lunar south pole, which I already had aligned, right? Which is right here. That I just showed you. And that's how it fit on its own. This picture with this picture. And that is the same thing to scale right there that's the size of the lunar south pole otherwise it's you know it's uh it has to be that size there's no getting around it because everything every overlay that fits is this size the moon is bigger than they say it is the moon is a planet equal to earth and it can't be anything else it cannot be anything else because these patterns fit together like a puzzle, a perfect puzzle. This is a shitty picture of the moon as well. They don't give us full detail of that of that pattern. But they give you just enough. This pattern that you see is the Antarctica rock structure, and this right here is the dragon. This is what ancient people had to see on the moon at the lunar south pole. And I'll bet you, since it was a fire-breathing dragon, that they actually seen the moon in color. With these these areas, the matching areas that are on the lunar south pole, which are right here, right here, this would be this area here, would be like the shape, and this would be the wing. This would be a big volcano on the moon. A volcanic area on the moon, and so would this on the Earth. This as well on the Earth. We know there's still volcanoes down there in Antarctica, but I'm just saying, when those two places separate, because this is a mirror image. This is a reversed image of the moon. This is not reversed. So they would separate, leaving having the same pattern. So when they looked at the moon, this is their dra this is the Chinese dragon right here. These are the wings, right here, and this is the body right here, like the head right here. These were volcanic. It was the fire-breathing dragon. It's, it, I am telling you, it all comes together really well that way, very well. Because you have to, th that's what the dra where the dragon comes from, is from the lunar south pole of the moon. Believe that or not, but I mean, <laughs> this shows the size of the moon. It can't be any other way. Like I said, the first showdown discovery I ever made was right here in the spot, and it just look at it. I put it right there with that thing, and just look at it fit.
and I didn't even align it to this. Like I said, I aligned it to that other picture. Now and then, I, this alignment also just came right into place on its own too, which I didn't align it to this one either. Just brought it up, and there it was. Mm, that's a good one. And that kind of shit is what makes me angry, right there. When I when I find stuff like this, because that crater, that this right here, just from here to here is. 3,500 miles or whatever. The moon is only supposed to be 2,000 miles. How is that possible? You want to tell me how that's possible? Because that is the same thing as well. Look. When all this is in there, it's the same thing. Right here, you can see the hole. So the continents were, like, hit... The, the moon was hitting a spot on the Earth, and it created this super volcano on the Earth that created the continents. Basically, this is an eruption... The land, the land mass of Antarctica would be like an eruption or, or part of the impact. Same with Australia. All of them. Every continent is like an eruption from that place where this hits. Right here. Because that's it looks just like this. On, it would have looked just like this on the Earth as well. This right here that you see on the moon would have been a, a matching mark on the Earth. Which there is. Right there. There's, the one in Antarctica is right there. The one in Africa is right here. That's one in Africa. Right there. There's the matching mark. So there's the volcano. And this is all from the eruption. You know what I'm, what I'm saying? I mean, there's probably volcanoes everywhere. But that's the main impact volcano right there on the Earth. Right there. That's the weather over the Earth, over Africa. So right below that weather is the mouth of the volcano. And that created these continents. Africa, North America has the same. Every all these continents are like an eruption from that volcano, from that impact, or it's other actually more than one impact. But from you know that's just the one I'm showing you right here. These two actually, the lunar south pole, have hit both the same place. This is the Mare Oriental Basin, but you can I got it all worked out right here where you see it's all there. There you go. Like I said, them, them pictures fell into place on their own. They go there. They're supposed to be there. That's how it, that's how it works. I can even go further. But there you go. In the ocean. Somewhere right in that area. That's, that's an impact right there. This. Right here. That too. Subduction, whatever. Impact creates it. Then the continents move uh, move away, but the moon comes back and hits again. You know, I mean, it pushes them even further away. But whatever it does, I don't even know if, where it hits or if it hits again. But it does. It has hit many times, and the proof is in the pudding. The evidence is right in front of your face, and I'm getting I get a little bit upset when I have to keep pointing out simple things that are, that are right in front of our faces and have people talk back about it, you know, like, oh, or just make little of it, you know, it's not, it's not little. And, it, you know, there's nothing you can do to stop it, for sure, but you know what? Don't lie and say it's something else. I don't appreciate that. I, I mean, everybody should, nobody should, appreciates being lied to, you. I don't, that I know of. I, mean, I don't, just irritates the hell out of me. Every once in a while, I just I'll find something so simple, and it's just like Jesus. I mean, I, I don't even know why I say that word, but I mean, it's just because everybody else said it. I don't believe in Jesus. Well, I believe Jesus is something else. The second coming of Christ would be like the next coming of the moon, or some some kind of shit like that. That's what I believe it is. I don't think he was even a man at all. I mean, I see where it all comes from. I see where it all comes from. It all stems from one thing. Then it all changes into something else. Have a good day.